In today's video, we're unpacking CSEC Food, Nutrition and Health Assignment 1 SCA for the exam year 2024 to 2026. Now, were you struggling to find some suitable dishes for your orders or your arranged vegetable salad? Stay tuned. <music> CSEC Food, Nutrition and Health SBA, the assessment plan for the exam year 2024 to 2026. We're looking at assignment one, which is for year one term three students, and these are 10 graders or fourth formers. All right, so in this video, we're going to focus on the work activity, which is your question, the elements that you're being assessed on, assessment methods, guidelines for this work activity and also suitable dishes for this work activity now let's get into it by looking at the work activities it reads your principal will be hosting guests for the school's annual health awareness week in preparation the principal has asked her food, nutrition, and health students to assist her in creating a suitable menu and dishes for her guests. The principal wants light bite-sized food items with an arrangement of vegetables. You took the initiative and provided your principal with a suitable menu reflecting her preference. As such, you have been asked to 1. Prepare and serve two hot orders with appropriate sauces for each, and two, prepare and serve an arranged vegetable salad with an appropriate dressing. Question further went on to say, to please note that your menu card should be made prior to the assessment. So ensure that you make your menu card prior to the assessment. I guess they have it here because students probably from your prior years not having their menu card on, on hand right so don't let that be you ensure that you have your menu card ready good now let us look at the elements that you are being assessed on so prepare and present salads and salad dressing prepare and present a range of hot and cold appetizers apply additional skills for workflow planning and preparation you know that is referring to your time plans good store appetizers and salad and also present food so how you garnish how you decorate etc all right now moving on to the methods of assessment of course you know that you'll have to do a practical demonstration and when we speak of practical demonstration that is where you get a chance to prepare your dish and showcase your skills Oral questioning, the assessor may walk around and ask you what you're doing or in the assessment of your final dish, she may ask you certain questions depending on what your dish is or about your dish to ensure that you have knowledge of what you are doing. Good. The next assessment method is direct observation and this just simply means that the assessor will go around, see your process, walk to see what you're doing, see if what is on your time plan actually match what you're currently doing, all right? So pay attention to those stuff. And of course, final product evaluation. And this is where they use um, sensory evaluation to test your dish. So ensure that even if something didn't go right, ensure that you garnish it in such a way that it's so appealing that it uh it appeals to their senses and they want to taste. All right, so do your best. If something don't go right, don't give up on any dish. Just ensure that you push through, you still serve, and you garnish, and you do it to the best of your abilities. But even though I said that, I know nothing will go wrong, right? All right, now let us move on to guidelines for these work activities. And first, the first guideline that we're going to look at is for the guidelines that governs the orders. Good. No hors d'oeuvres are small, savory, hot, or cold bite-sized dishes. They are usually finger foods served at receptions, before dinner, and with cocktails. No hors d'oeuvres for the assigned task. They must be cooked and served hot. So that simply means that you couldn't do something cold like 
for instance, cream cheese bites or something like that. You have to do something that is hot. So think about that when you're choosing your dishes. You have to be cook the item and the item has to be hot. Have a suitable sauce to go along with your item. And of course, you make sure that you garnish your dishes properly. Whether it be a scallion curl, a tomato rose, a carrot leaf, whatever it is, even if it's some parcel flakes, ensure that you consider your garnishes. And when you're considering your garnishes, think of the color of your dish so that when you garnish, the garnish can actually enhance and not to take away from your dish. All right. Now let us look at some examples that were included with this question. So they have baked chicken wings with honey mustard sauce. Now, yes, you can use wings. And guess what? Wings are so versatile. You could do barbecue wings. You could do jerk wings. You could do spicy fried wings. You could do grilled wings if your school has a grill. But whatever style of wings that you choose to do, ensure that you have sauce. Whether jerk barbecue, barbecue, honey mustard in this case, etc. All right, and next item that they listed is jerk, jerk meatballs with sweet and sour sauce. You can do different flavors of meatballs, right? It may be barbecue meatballs, etc. Now, the next thing that they have is mini pizzas with marinara sauce, salt fish polenta bites with spicy jerk sauce and these options that we have here came with the question and now we're going to look at some additional dishes that you can choose from so one you could do coconut shrimp with sweet chili sauce you could do sweet bacon wrapped chicken bites with barbecue sauce mozzarella sticks with marinara sauce fried chicken fingers with sweet and spicy sauce Pigs in blanket with sweet and tangy sauce, right? Now let us look at some more. Fried plantain rolls with spicy sauce. Plantain sliders with tuna patties with spicy sauce. Mini burger bites with tomato sauce. Stuffed plantain cups with jerk barbecue sauce. Burger cups with cheese sauce. And also saltfish fritters with tartar sauce it could also be fish fingers with tartar sauce now if you see any of this that you don't like you can always go ahead and research ensure that you put in hot orders with sauce play around with what you're looking for so that you can get different ideas good all right now let's turn our attention to the guidelines as it relates to the arranged salad now when you are purchasing Ensure that you select vegetables of good quality and color. You don't want to choose any vegetables that are bruised. You definitely don't want to choose any ones that are wilted. Even though they can become a fresh if you put them in ice water for about 30 minutes. But you don't have time for that. So ensure that your vegetables that you purchase for your salad is of high quality. Because when you serve it up on the plate or the platter, you want it to look nice, right? Now, another thing that you should do is use a pleasing blend of colors and avoid those that clash. So for example, you wouldn't want to use, say, white cabbage and um, using, for example, like say cucumbers, good, even though the cucumber have a little green around the ring, if you remove the, the peeling of the cucumber, you're just going to end up with white there and then the white cabbage. So you would want to choose things that um, complement each other, right? So if you choose... For instance, a white cabbage, you could have some carrots, shredded carrots. You could have purple cabbages. You could have tomato wedges, tomato slices, etc. Just think of the vegetables that you want to use and think about your color scheme in your head, right? So don't choose anything that are too close that won't make your dish look attractive. Good. You can also think of green leaf lettuce instead of say iceberg lettuce because that color is a little paler you can use romaine lettuce those color are a little stronger in green that goes along with the cabbage if you are using cabbage so think of along those lines good next prepare the vegetables in a uniform manner that is paying key attention to cuts slicing shredding 
and or dicing. Guys, please take your time when you're slicing these vegetables or shredding the vegetables so that you will have a uniform look. You don't want some slices thick, some slices thin, some dice is large, some dice is medium, some dice is small, right? So whenever you're preparing your vegetables using your cutting techniques, always have uniformity in mind. Always do it in such a way that it's appealing and that it's something that you would want to eat, right? Now arrange vegetables so that each is separate from the other good so you don't want to have the vegetable mixing together because it is arranged now some examples of salad dressing that you may want to choose from are thousand island dressing ranch dressing vinaigrette dressing blue cheese dressing italian dressing russian dressing honey mustard and also caesar dressing are just some examples of what you could pair with your orange salad all right that is it for this question guys and i just want to wish you good luck and all the best for your upcoming practical exam you are awesome you made it to the end of the session please remember to watch those ads subscribe and also share with persons who you know will find this information useful. thank you for making a fair tutorial